I'm really sorry if you hear anything Star Wars in the background. That's what my sister is watching right now, and it's kind of loud for me, so I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up. I don't really care, though, so we're just gonna roll with it. So, yeah, hopefully no one gets too annoyed with that. <laughs> What's up guys? Today I'm going to be doing a Walt Disney World haul video for May 2018. We were there April 27th through May 1st. Technically we got there the 27th and then we were in the parks the 28th, the 29th, and the 30th. And then the last day we left at around 9 o'clock at night so we spent all day at Disney Springs. So I'm just going to be showing you guys the pins that I bought, the pins my mom brought, the pins my mom bought for me, um, all the pins that I traded, and like my Polaroids, and just different things like that. So I'm not trying to brag in any way, shape, or form. I'm really thankful and lucky to be able to go to Disney World again. This is probably going to be our last trip for a while though. Um, hopefully not. I'm crossing my fingers not, but... That's okay, so I'm just going to show you guys some of like the free things that I got free. Um, I had a yellow magic band. These are the pins that I brought. Uh, you can't really see them that well, but like, it's fine. Shockingly, it's pretty heavy. I think I have 12 pins, or maybe 14, I don't really remember. Um, we stayed at Saratoga Springs, and... I guess they're really popular for the Disney Vacation Club and one day in our hotel we got these postcards. So there's one of Stitch, one of Chip and Dale, and then one of basically the core, core four or technically core five. I don't really know what you want to call it. Then I got one of the Flower and Garden Festival books. We didn't really eat that much at the Flower and Garden Festival. But I still just kind of like wanted it for the memories. And, and then I got the Epcot map thing. So, yeah, it's just a map. And then I got the Animal Kingdom 20th Anniversary map booklet thing. And again, like I just kind of wanted it for the memories of like knowing that we went for the 20th anniversary. And I'm so upset. Hollywood Studios should have like the Toy Story Land advertising on their pamphlets or whatever you want to call those but they didn't so it made me really upset and then the I'm just gonna quickly show you guys um, but these are like all the Polaroids that I took which this is really hard these are like two of my favorites um, and I had some different Disney film that's one of my favorites too I think that's really good one I had some Disney film that I wanted to use, so again, sorry that this isn't really a great look. That's the three of us. My dad didn't go this trip because he had to work, so. And in total, I took 20 pictures, which might seem like a lot, which it kind of is a lot, but I just wanted to use that film for Disney, so that's why I took a lot. But I love my Polaroid, so it's fine. I love it. I'm going to show the pins that I bought first and then the pins that I traded for because I actually have more pins that I traded this trip. So, um, this is in no particular order, but I'm going to show the pins that I brought. I keep saying that. I'm going to show the pins that I purchased myself and then the ones that my mom bought for me. So, I got this Flower and Garden Festival pin which I love it. The main reason why I got this was because they didn't have the like um, Epcot Orange and Florida Fresh pin pack so I just wanted this one to one commemorate that we were there for the Flower and Garden Festival but also you can see the little the little Epcot Orange so that was fun and this was $15 and I bought this Tower of Terror pin and it just folds down like this and I really liked it because of Stitch and it was the only Tower of Terror pin that I actually liked so I decided to buy it and this was ranked pink which I think it was $17 
I don't know. I'll make sure to include like the prices down in the description. But yeah, so I like this pin. I got the um, Cheshire Cat slash Alice in Wonderland Tsum Tsum set, not set, pin. The Alice in Wonderland Tsum Tsum pin. And this was ranked yellow. And then I got myself this Stitch and Angel pin set which was $15 and I found it in Epcot. I don't know now if it's available in all the parks, but that was the only park that I saw it in, so I bought it. And then one of the pins that I was most excited to buy was this Incredibles 2 pin, which again was only at Epcot when I bought it, but I don't know if it's in the other parks now. And this was ranked silver. Then the rest of these are ones that my mom bought me. So, she bought me this um, Winnie the Pooh and Piglet pin, and this is a pin that I wanted when we went in January, but I just, I don't know why I didn't buy it, and so I knew that this trip I had to get it. It's so cute. This was ranked blue, and then I got this Splash Mountain pin, which is kind of tied to a bad pin trading experience so if you guys want to hear that make sure to comment down below I'm probably gonna film this that video sometime this week but this was also ranked blue then I got this fox in the hound pin because again it was just one of the pins that I've wanted for a while so I decided to just get it and this was ranked silver then I got the Alice in Wonderland lunchbox series and it just opens up to that and the main reason why I wanted this pin was I just wanted at least one pin from this series and all the other lunchbox series were sold out in the parks so I just got this one just to make sure that I got at least one and I'm really excited to see what else they do with this collection and this was $17 then I just got this spinner pin um, it just kind of goes around and all the parks are on there and this was pink one of the last pins that we brought oh, I keep saying that I'm literally gonna cut my tongue off I got this pack of Tsum Tsum villains box mystery pack and I need more of these pins because ready are you ready this is the pin that you get in the mystery box and this is a regular size Tsum Tsum pin. Like these are literally like jumbo pins. They are huge. It doesn't look like it on camera. And then I got Cruella. So these are really, really cute. I'm really happy with Cruella. I was debating on trading Jafar away just because, I don't know, but I didn't and I decided to keep it and this uh, was $16 and you can bet your booty that I will be opening these one day again. Then funny story, I got this donut pin, donut shop pin and it's mini and it just opens up to that. And we actually ordered this online. So I convinced my mom to let me purchase it online because I collect food. And the same thing happened with the latte pin. But I think for that one, like that collection, I'm just going to wait until like there's a character that I want more. It sounds really dumb and like I sound really spoiled, kind of because I am. But, um... Yeah, that's a lot that's a story in it of itself. So if you guys want to hear that story, I'll tell you. But yeah, so this was just $17. And I'm just super happy to have one of these. I really wanted the stitch one, but of course that one sold out in a week. So I am just going to show you guys the pins that I traded for. And I did buy two of the different like Star Wars Tsum Tsum mystery packs so that I had more pins to trade. And these are in no particular order. But the first pin, which is actually one of the last ones I traded for, was this um, Disney World pin, which I don't know why I said it that weird, but it's fine. On the back it says Walt Disney Travel Company, so I don't know 
uh, what that exactly means. Um, and some of these are fake. Oh, I got this Mowgli Simbo Leo Zodiac. Then I got Sven. I got this Timon pin. Then I got this really cute Tigger pin. Then I got this Minnie Mouse mug pin. Then I got this watermelon pin. Then I got this Duchess pin. Then I got Doug. Then I got this um, bigger size Olaf pin, which is from uh, Disneyland Paris. Then I got this blue pin. Then I got this Kanga and Rue pin. I got this grape pin. I got this figment pin. Then I got this pancake pin. Then I got this fish from The Little Mermaid. And then this is a fake Sorcerer Mickey apple. Then I got this Disney Foofy, I don't know, Hong Kong Disney. Then, re you're not ready for this one, I traded for this Remy from Ratatouille pin. Thank you, that's actually amazing. And then I got this Figaro pin, so good with Disney pin trading. got this Flounder, I got this Bernard pin because I saw it, and if you guys don't know, I already have one of these pins. The hands are painted like the same color as the sweater. Nothing wrong with this pin, that's a lie. Stripe right here that's like right underneath his sweater is not supposed to be there. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with two fake Bernard pins. Like this one doesn't look as bad. But like, let me know down below because I don't know how how much more sadness I can take for fake Bernard pins. Like, I just want a good Bernard pin. Is that too much to ask? Probably. Got this. These I always forget their names, but they're the cats from Lady and the Tramp. Then I got this Miko from Pocahontas. Got this scar pin. We got this Sebastian Cancer Zodiac pin, which again is pretty cute. And then probably the two best pins that I've traded for um, is the Shanghai opening limited edition pin of 300. And then probably one of my favorite pins is this Mike and Sully. Just to say, I had some great traders this trip and I'm so in love with pin trading now. It's so much fun and I can't wait for our next trip so I can pin trade and I'll make sure to go with a lot more pins to trade so I don't have to spend $56 worth on buying pins. So thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry that this was a really long video. There was a lot to say, a lot to show, but I am so, so thankful for everything. It was such a fun trip. Um, I plan on doing a lot more videos about Disney and just like Disney vacation tips and whatnot. So make sure to subscribe down below and comment um, your best pin trading experience if you pin trade. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like and like I said, subscribe and comment down below. And yeah, bye guys.